Hey, welcome back to Bears Grid. On this channel, we simplify educational tech. Really quickly, I just want to get this one out there. Um, Google Classroom, annotating on Google Classroom isn't working, so I just want to provide an alternative as to what you could use. And now I'm using GoodNotes. Uh, you could use other note-taking applications, but I'm just going to give you a quick deep dive and show you how you can do this. So let's go to Google Classroom. I'll go to one of my classes here and under classwork, I'm gonna uh, select the assignment here and I'm gonna go to one of my students and as usual, I will click on what they've uploaded and then I'll go to, you still get this button here. You still get the sort of annotation button. If I click on it, it's a blank screen. I've still got my annotation keys here. Okay, I can still go through the pages, but there's no, it doesn't show up, nothing showing up. There's, there's definitely a bug here on the classroom. Okay, so I don't know what to do here. I can go back. In fact, if I do press on this button, let's just say I annotate here on the side and I press save. Okay, and if I come back out of here, look, you do have an annotated file here. And as I click on that file, you can see here, I've annotated on top of the page. So it, the annotation is working. It's just showing up blank, which I don't know what's going on, why there's a bug here. So I can't really work with this anymore. So what I'm gonna do is this, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna share this instead. So I'm gonna use the share button. So I'm gonna go ahead and share this. And then I'm gonna go and share it with, um, for me, I'm gonna use GoodNotes, okay? I mean, you could use notes if you wanted. I'm gonna go ahead and use GoodNotes. So I'm gonna import this into GoodNotes. And here it is, it comes up like this now. Now I'm running good notes side by side, okay? That's another video entirely. I'm running two good notes here, um, two PDF files or two annotation files. So I'm gonna go ahead and import it to good notes. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go add it as a new doc, okay? Go to the folder, the designated folder that I wanna to go to and then add it there. Um, and now I've added the student's file here. Now the benefit of this is I can go ahead and annotate on his work, okay? And I can mark the work a lot more work involved. Things are always changing, we have to adapt. So that's what I'm offering as a solution. Uh, I know it's not perfect, but at least we have something that we can carry on. Unfortunately, we're at the mercy of these companies and we're at the mercy of uh, tech. It's not like we've printed this out and we've given it to students. My colleague's probably laughing right now because he, he printed out the test paper and he marked it the traditional way, pen and paper. As always, thanks for watching. If you found that helpful, then consider sharing it with a colleague. Someone might be marking during spring break and you know this would uh, provide some relief as to an alternative. Anyway, uh, if you're interested in simplified educational tech, then um, consider subscribing. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.